Hello Frugal Force, once again this is Captain Frugal reporting for duty and I'm going to do another episode with a famous covers on um, this one we Thor. Before I do, if you enjoy these videos please be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also if you like these videos and you're aware that YouTube doesn't like me very much so they don't send out my notifications. You can go to the info bar down below and you can subscribe to our Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Alright, so let's get into it. This is one of those famous covers here. This is the box Journey into Mystery. You, uh, With these kind of boxes, you open them up and the character will go in there. I'm going to put him back in here and I'm going to show you why in a minute. It gives you a little information about that. And once again, if you get a few of those, you can send them in and you can get a <laughs> an Aunt May. Uh, I never did. <laughs> okay, just for the record. Uh, these were usually around, uh, were a sale for around $14.99. You could snag them cheaper once in a while. This was around $19.98 through Toy Biz. Uh, there's a lot of good and bad about these characters. As you see here, I think they look really cool. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at that articulation there. Look at his face. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Look at that. Pretty cool. They have cloth, and this is a bonus, a good and bad. The cloth looks really cool and all that, but one of the things is they're not, the build quality then is they're going to be a little bit where you have to be careful with them. And here's another thing, you can tell that by looking at the stuff there. They're a little hard to keep clean, so I recommend, hate to say it, keeping them in some kind of protective case which I'm, I'm putting mine in now. Here's another issue too with the cloth. You see you start getting spots and that's very hard to keep from happening. But he's got articulation in his knees there. Okay, look at that. Now notice they're not the yellow boots though. These are a dark boot, okay. But otherwise he looks very cool. Got the belt, got the spots. He's classic. He can bend his arm there, bends his wrist. He has articulation there. They're very, very poseable. Look at the Hammer of Thor. Notice though, it does not have the inscription on it. Uh, no inscription on the Hammer of Thor here. Darn, right? But otherwise, it's very cool. Nice cape. Okay, got the golden mane there. But this is Thor. Okay, and if you could snag a copy of him, you know, they're not really expensive to get. I think they're really cool. Uh, they're nice to have. As I said, I'm going to be putting him back in the box because unfortunately they just get spotted up too much. And you can still store them so you can see them. You can open the box so everyone can see the character in the box. Uh, so these are pretty cool set. I've got several more of those. If you guys like those, like to see these kinds of things, let me know. I'll do more videos on them. Okay. Um, this is once again first appearances, famous covers. They do not come with the cover, the uh, copy of this comic book, not a reprint or anything. They don't come with that. I was asked that before. Somebody goes, do they come with them? Unfortunately, no. But these are eight inch ultra poseable figures with authentic fabric costumes. Once again, I said there's pros and cons to that, to the coloration and you know amount of fragility there, if you will. So you do have to be somewhat careful with them because they, they can break pretty you know easily. They remind me of Migos. So if you ever liked those Migos, if that was before your time and you're interested in them too, you could still check these out. They're not real hard to get a hold of. And they, let's be honest, I think they look really cool. They look great on a shelf. I'm going to be putting another shelf, hopefully here, or to pretty soon in my frugal fortress here and I'm gonna be putting I think toys and things like uh, some of these action figures on there so I can spruce up the comic angle of this room a little bit so ultimately there it is that's the famous covers Thor from Toy Biz ages 5 and up it says on the box too <laughs> the boxes are cool heck even that's a, a nice little thing to look at there once again see a pretty cool looking box and once again, you just open them up, then the figure will be stored in the box here so it's visible. I need to clean this up some. And it tells about the character. So in this one it says, fleeing attacks from the sinister alien stone men from Saturn. Lame physician Donald Blake escaped into a nearby cave, never suspecting his life would change on this fateful day, becoming trapped in the cave. Blake used an ordinary looking stick in order to aid his escape, inadvertently releasing ancient Norse magic. Blake was stunned to find himself transformed into the mighty Thor, defeating the Stone Men. Thor returned to Blake's world and the modern age to use his great power to protect the people of Earth. So, really cool. You know, nice little thing to have there. There we are. 
And as you see, if you want to display him on the shelf, this is what he would look like. In the ring here, you get to see his face through that. And you'd be able to share the nice box art and the, you know, the Journey into Mystery cover here that's on that. So it's a great way to display it. Also, if you wanted to, I do have my camera on an angle, so it's not going to be able to display it as well. But you can have it on a shelf like this, so it'll show, if you will, the character in the box, as you see here, as well as this art. So you have your choices there. Uh, I, I'm not sure which way I'm going to display them. I think I'm going to display them like this on a shelf, so that way they can see everything. Uh, as long as I have shelf space. I do have a lot of shelf space in this room if I plan it accordingly. And I do plan on doing that. That's one of the reasons I got these out. I'm going to be cleaning them up, the boxes and things like that. I want to add some shelves into the Frugal Fortress and start displaying some of these cool action figures. Because right now, they, my, my room, uh, the Frugal Fortress is game and comic. But I have a whole separate comic book room because I can't store them all. I have too many for in here. So I would like to share some of the action figures here so they also appear in some of the videos. So there it is. There you have it. That is Thor in the box. And as I said, makes a great display piece. All right. We have Thor. Once again, famous covers. I hope you enjoy this video. And until next time, keep it brutal.